Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. You're watching Filmnet. My name is Kevin and for those of you who are new to the channel, I make videos about filmmaking, animation, motion graphics and design. So a lot of reviews and tutorials. In this video I will show you guys how you can create your own design elements in Adobe Illustrator that will add some extra style to your frames and videos. I always find it difficult to name these elements, but I guess you could say it fits in with the whole retro futurism style. Um, I've just released a nice pack for a few bucks with close to 40 PNG elements that you can use for your videos and animations. So if you don't feel like spending time to learn it yourself, just head over to Gumroad and support our channel. The link will be in the description down below, so please check that out. And if you want to learn some stuff, just stick around. All right, so let's just jump into it. All right, so let's have some fun. So open up Adobe Illustrator and create a artboard um, using the 4K sizes. Um, of course, you can also make a 1080p artboard, whatever you want. Um, I've made two layers, one with the black background, which I just lock for now, and one layer for the actual designs. So yeah, let's just start. One of the things you see a lot are these 3D circles. So let's just start with that. You can also just press L on your keyboard. And I'm holding Shift while dragging this out. And there we go, we have a white circle. And now press A on your keyboard, just select this anchor point and press backspace or delete. Select the shape. Now just go to effect 3D and rotate. But we don't want this shading. So over here you can just change the way it looks. So this is a little bit more flat. This is totally flat. And this is the wireframe we want can't really see it right now because it's black so let me just drag it out here and that looks pretty cool so let me just duplicate this and we're going to object expand I think you gotta do this a few times so you just get the outlines all right so now it's expanded now press A on your keyboard and just select one line press select same fill color and just change this to white. There you go. Of course, maybe you wanna change the thickness of the line so you can add a stroke to this. Make it a little thicker. There we go. Well, let's just copy it to our artboard. Just gonna align it to the center like so. And we can start from there. So maybe you wanna make a nice rectangle around it. You only need the stroke, change the stroke thickness. Or actually, this looks pretty good. Pretty nice. Maybe you want to add some typo here. So let's just type in film that. This is a free Google font called Monster Ra. If something is going too fast or is unclear, please just drop a comment down below and I'll uh, try to help out. So that already looks pretty cool, I guess. And I'm just freestyling, guys. So this is just to inspire you to create your own stuff. Uh, I don't want you guys to copy what I'm doing, but uh, just have fun with it. Okay, maybe wanna add a few squares. It's just all pretty random stuff, but uh, just gotta get a feeling of how this works. All right, there we go. Maybe a few circles, but with an outline. I think that's that's nicer. Again, change the stroke thickness. And now I'm just gonna copy this. So I'm holding Alt and Shift while dragging it out with my mouse. So. It's duplicating, but it also keeps it on the same vertical uh, place. So no need to align them. They're perfect right now. 
Um, what else can we do? Maybe make a little cross. Actually, I'm just gonna use the pen tool. So I hit Command C and hit Command F to paste it on the same place. And now you can just rotate it. But while rotating, hold the Shift key so you can rotate it in steps of 45 degrees. So now we have a little cross. Uh, I think I'm gonna expand this for now. And then just go to the Pathfinder panel and just merge these two shapes. Of course you can use this as a single element, but it's also nice to make a little pattern out of it. So start by creating a square and just copy one of these in there. And now we're just gonna align them to the center, both horizontally and vertically like so. We don't need a background color. So now select both of these items and go to your swatch panel and just drag it in there. And now when you create a rectangle and you select this swatch, you see it just creates a beautiful pattern. So um, let's say you want to apply that pattern to your art board, then there you go. Simple as that. I think the whole artboard is a little bit too much, so maybe something like this would be nice. Like I said, I'm just freestyling, guys. I really want you guys to uh, try this out for yourself and uh, get creative with it. So that's one way to do it. Um, what else can we do? A lot of times you see these, uh, these blinky stars, I guess. Um, they're not hard to do. I mostly make them like this. Ah, of course we need a white color now instead of the pattern. And I don't know if this is the fastest way, but uh, I don't know, I guess it works for me. So you start by creating this um, kind of play icon and you just duplicate it and rotate it and put them together and now just select the both of them and again just merge them in the pathfinder and I'm just gonna duplicate this one more time uh, rotate it 90 degrees and now just align these two like so and again just uh, I'm just gonna merge this shape into one and this kind of looks like the Polestar <laughs> logo, I guess. Um, but if you wanna make some smooth edges, uh, you just gotta press A. And these dots over here uh, show you the live corner widget. If it isn't on, uh, just go up here and make sure it's on. And now just select one of them and just drag it out. And it becomes smooth. And repeat oh crap and repeat this process for all of the four points and there you go I think it looks wonderful and that's the power of tree it's always nice to just repeat uh, some of this stuff uh, maybe just put that below the type. All right, so this is starting to look pretty interesting. Maybe we want to add some color to this. So let's just create a little square. So uh, select the rectangle tool again or press M on your keyboard and hold shift so it becomes a square. And let's just select, not black, but a very, very dark gray and just duplicate it make it a little lighter, duplicate it again. All right, so just repeat this step um, till you get to the point where it's almost white. I'm just gonna stop right here because I think it's way too much. 
right there we go and now just uh, stick them all together again I'm holding shift while moving them so they don't go up or down um, don't want them to overlap so now just select them hit command G on your keyboard to group them and now just align them to the center of your artboard Pretty slick. Maybe I'm just gonna copy this to the other side as well. And voila, there you go. Um, of course, we just made a few very simple elements that you can use for your video, but I hope you understand that you can get very creative with this. For example, just this simple rectangle. Um, you could extend it to the sides like so. Uh, you could add more circles, squares, whatever. Um, yeah, just get crazy with it. Hope you guys really like this. Um, of course, now we're finished in Illustrator. If you want to move this stuff to After Effects, you could save it as an Illustrator file and import it. Um, what I personally really like is a plugin called Overlord. This has saved me tons of times. This is not a promotion, but uh, really if you're into animations and if you're a freelancer or work for a bigger business, whatever, it's really worth the money. So that tool is just awesome. Um, let me just show you what happens when you select all of this stuff and you just push this selection to After Effects. Let's see what happens. Boom, that only took a few seconds. And now all of our elements are here. Um, they're all separated. So you have a ton of different shapes you can work with. The only problem, as you can see, is it doesn't really like patterns. So um, we would have to go back to Illustrator and just expand the pattern we made. And now if I try it again, it's fixed. So that's perfect. There we go. Now, of course, you can just add a video below all of the elements you just made. And then you can simply enjoy the result. Let's just add the other side as well, just to finish this tutorial off. From here on, you can just turn elements on and off, change their position, duplicate them, stack them, uh, rotate them. Uh, I don't know, you can have so much fun with this. Uh, I've, uh, in the last few months, I've really been playing around with this a lot of times and uh, it's just so much fun, man. It's awesome and it works in a lot of projects. So um, I hope this inspires you guys to create your own stuff and uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.